Hello, humans. Manga Sloth here. Today, we are going to take a look and rank the best and worst manga that was read last year by me. And we're going to use Tear Maker. I've seen it all over the place. I've never done one. I recently seen Tony's manga do it, and she did a great job, so definitely check that out. And I stole that idea, and I wanted to do it. So here I am doing it. But enough chit chat. Let's just get into it and start ranking some good stuff and some trash all right so here is the tier list pretty simple if you've seen it before if you haven't it goes from s being the best down to d down to go away which is the worst go away is kind of like the worst things i've read and stuff i want to drop d is things i'm not super impressed with but i may continue c's you know your average everyday stuff b's decent stuff a's better stuff and s tier is tip it a top so i got a bunch of stuff down here and some stuff the wife has read some stuff i have read some stuff we both have read i'm gonna start right at the beginning here and I'm gonna just go from left to right. When I stick things on the chart, the stuff closest to the left will be the closest to the next tier. There will be a little bit of rankings in the tiers of what things I think are better than others. And also I have read a ton more series than this last year, but I am not including the One Pieces, the JoJo's, the My Hero Academias, the bread and butters, because I don't feel like dealing with them and they're less interesting so i just picked out some stuff that i like and some stuff i don't can you guess just by looking at this list right here right now the things that i hate the things that i love <clears throat> all right let's get started um we're starting with radiant here radiant is great i have not read very many of the volumes this year because not many came out but we're gonna put radiant in the b section Definitely one of the better shonens that I have read and I love every minute of. Burn the Witch is next. The another title by the creator of Bleach. This is this is something that me and the wife both read and we both thought it was just meh. So I'm gonna we're gonna so I'm gonna stick it in D for now. At the we may switch some things around at the end once I start seeing some comparisons. And I'm doing this straight off the fly, so I have not prepared for this. Burn the Witch, I just was not impressed. It was just fine, but so forgettable and not great. I hope, I hope it becomes awesome. Uh, Erased, on the other hand, is pretty dang amazing. It's hard to not just feel super emotional reading Erased. Uh, only four volumes, only four big volumes, and the fifth, only five volumes, and four are the complete story. Five is the fifth volume is a are different sides to the story and stuff like that. I'm gonna stick it as a solid A. Definitely emotional. The anime was amazing, also, but like I've said many times now, don't watch the anime because they botched the ending and it's a completely different ending than in the actual in the than in the actual manga. A man and his cat is awesome. Also, I'm gonna stick it in B for now. I think I think that's where I want to put it. I almost want to stick it in A. It's just that good. And it's weird cuz I am not a cat person and this is just this is just a series I just never thought I'd even remotely care for, but it is pretty good. I'll stick it in B for now. Next up, Karate Survivor in Another World. Uh, only two volumes of this. I thought it was all right. I feel like it's just your average bread and butter, but it's also starting to get better. Uh, volume two. And I feel like this kind of series is going to just be in your low C area. I feel like they can push it to a low B, you know, and a, you know, a, I feel like it has potential to be a low B in the future, uh, you know, depending on how long it runs and stuff. Uh, Masho, I kind of feel the same way. It's a middle, it's a middle of the road C. It's fine, kind of funny. I do think it's getting better. The art seems like it's progressing and the story is getting a little more interesting. So it will have also potential to rise up in the ranks eventually. But right now it is mid C. Uh, Kuma 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 Bear, very weird series. I never thought I would like it and I do like it. And I don't, 
I really don't compre- I can't comprehend why I just like it so much. It's almost like calm, relaxing, with also sweet izakai and awesome battles and progression and stuff. So it is definitely in the B category. I'd probably say mid B at best, maybe lower B. We got Giant Spider in me. This is a three volume series. It's gonna be in the D section. It's not the worst thing. It's it's mostly high D, maybe uh, low C, but I'm gonna stick it in high D right now. It's only three volumes. If it was more, I feel like it could be mid high C and be more enjoyable, but it is good slice of life kind of feel, but uh, nothing, nothing to really write home about. About. Strongest Sage with Weakest Crest, one of the better Isekais I've ever read so far. I'm gonna stick it here. High B, really good so far. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Another surprise that happened last year is this one, Peach Boy Riverside. Only four volumes out, so it's you know, still in the beginning stages, but man, it's it feels good. Art's good, battles are sweet, story is really cool. Now, I'm gonna give it a high C right now. Could even be a low B. Then we got Blood on the Track. I'm gonna be a little more crazy critical of blood on the tracks here i'm gonna give it a middle of the road c faraway paladin volume one started off real strong really good series starting off strong we're gonna put it at a mid c depending on how long it is and how it progresses this one i could see and i would not be surprised if it ended up high b or a eventually cirque de freak i can't believe it but i feel like i'm gonna give this one a low b right now all right next is to your eternity it's kind of hard to not just launch this one into the solar system it is ridiculously good by the creator of silent voice where we're at at volume four 14 at the time of doing this it is solid s tier no doubt about it next up we got wave listen to me really cool series by the creator of blade of the immortal and i think it's uh, pretty dang good so i'm gonna stick this one in mid b and then we got attack on titan you know that series that nobody's heard of attack on titan is pretty bread and buttery but i'm gonna stick it in i'm sticking it in this list because it did end last year and i started with the manga and i ended with the manga and I plan on watching all the anime, obviously. And I'm going to say it was high A, really really awesome i did like the ending i know some people had some issues with it and i understand them next up we got ajin or ajin if you want me to find a magical h that doesn't exist in there and that ended last year also i'm gonna give it a high c fruit punch i feel like sticking it right here right now next is jujutsu kaisen and and i have mixed feelings about this series it's decent but also not the best thing ever and maybe i was a little too hyped to read it but i like it i'm gonna continue reading it and i think I think I want to stick it in the high C right now. I think we're going to move stuff around here a little later. Drifting Dragons. It's pretty amazing because this was on the drop list uh, earlier. And now it's on the tier list. And it's going to be in the Bs. Mid to low B. Drifting Dragons. Really cool series. Then we got Remna or Remina by Junji Ito. This is a one shot. This one is a nice good old fashioned go away if this was more volumes it would have been dropped drop i like junji ito i read all his works this is just not good i could be debated to putting it in the d section but i just feel like it needs to go away because i would have dropped it if it was the start of a series then we got yona of the dawn one of the better things that will grace this list we're gonna stick it straight up here in the higher a's and yona has the ability depending on where it goes and where it ends in the future to be higher a or even s tier golden kamui i like golden kamui a lot i'm gonna stick it i'm gonna stick it in the mid b area then we have aria the masterpiece seven volumes decent series mid to low c then we have blank canvas this is five volumes this is made by the creator of princess jellyfish and stuff man this is a good series holy smokes for only five manga volumes man they really hit a home run this one is extremely impressive and i'm gonna stick it in the 
A section here. Kaguya-sama, Love is War, if I'm saying that right, it's a solid C. Then we got Twin Star Exorcists, super awesome series, so much cool action, neat premise, great art, goes straight into the mid Bs. I think it might go in front of Golden Kamui. Then we got Gundam Thunderbolt, one of the best drawn and best stories out in manga at the moment. An amazing series that everyone should read, whether you hate, love, or don't care about mecha in my opinion it is a high a and blue flag and b is for blue flag eight volumes great series going straight into the b's then we got grand blue fantasy seven volume it's the story that's based on the video game series the art is great the story had so much potential but boy did it just fail it was not great it's close i almost wanted to drop it then we have auto men a fan favorite of another manga tuber suki notes this series is like reading a book while somebody's pepper spraying your eyes it is terrible it was just one of the worst first volumes read it was just it was just like one and done and by done it means get it out of my house i'm sure there's plenty of people out there that love the series i apologize i my wife is just not one of them now keeping on with the exorcist theme with the twin star exorcist here blue exorcist was also started last year and this one was really really good the premise the fights art everything all together just meshes so well really awesome and it's gonna go in the a tier and then we have down here legend of dororo dororo or however you say it who cares how you say it because i don't like it i thought i would love it the premise sounds so cool i got a lot of outreach i heard from the people and they spoke and said the anime is better try the anime try the other version try this try this try this and that's fine i'm sure any other version has got to be better than this i i just was not feeling this wasn't the worst thing i ever read but boy was it just not worth my time hey we got kaiju number eight and now i'm only one volume in there's a lot of hype around it so that factors in a little bit but i think it's a very low b right now just reading volume one i can see myself if i had 20 other volumes of it i could plow through them it, it was good then we have hina mitsuri and hina mitsuri is a little weird i really didn't think i would like it i actually got it for my wife and she dropped it she did not like like it it just wasn't her thing so instead of selling it or getting rid of it i tried it and thank goodness i did holy smokes it is hilarious funny and i just love the characters and love their development and it is getting an a from may man where do i want to put it up here I don't think it's better than these three. I'm going to stick it right here for now. Middle of the A. And speaking of super awesome, we got B-Stars. And I plan on sticking B-Stars near the top for the near future. I'm going to stick B-Stars as a low A for right now. All right, Takane and Hana ended last year. Super funny, good art, great premise. And it's going to get an A also shaman king i'm working through the omnibuses feel like it's in the c area or in high school host club got the box set it was all right you know nothing to write home about it's gonna be high in the d category not the worst thing not the best thing love of kill only four volumes in and it's good middle of the road i'd probably say we're gonna stick it right about here for now in the mid sea-ish area then i got chainsaw man i enjoy chainsaw man and i like it and i'm gonna stick it in the closer to the higher c area it's got potential i feel like i can get it into the b's c for chainsaw man then we have saint young men i'm gonna stick it in the high d it could be low c area probably saint young man is good a little bit funny really calming slice of life feeling just relax and read it type deal i'm standing on a million lives this is uh, the upper echelon of go away pile not good wow not good i dropped this series i was thinking i was gonna like it it just sounds cool the covers look sweet stuff but i just really did not like the beginning and the premise and i gave it two volumes 
and it was just a struggle and it was kind of like pulling teeth then we had sorceress stabber orphan here sorceress stabber orphan made me want to stab my eyes it was not good i feel like it was better than standing on a million lives but it was it was kind of painfully boring did not hold me did not get me did not grab me boring goodbye go away all right then we got princess jelly in your belly and this was a b this is by the person that made blank canvas up here in the a section really nice series got the box set i'd probably say mid to lowish b's demon slayer also completed last year got the series in singles and also in the box set so i bought it twice and i think demon slayer is a solid d plus and d is for demon slayer that's how it goes we all know that's what it stands for d mid slayer black clover as a shonen was more impressive to me such awesome battles just cover to cover battle action adrenaline rush and i think it is a b a solid b we're gonna stick it right here we're gonna move kaiju up one after the rain five omnibuses ended also last year a lot of series ended this one is a c and we're gonna stick it right above karate survivor then we have vinland saga that is right ladies and gentlemen vinland saga i actually read vinland saga last year and not volume 1 through 11 i read those years prior i actually read volume 12 last year so i get to have this on my list it's amazing that a volume came out it is still good nothing change from volume 11 to 12 besides waiting in eternity and it is s tier s tier easy then i also read land of the lustrous last year i started last year a little bit from myself but a lot of it from the community uh kind of pushing it on me so thank you i really really liked land of the lustrous i read all the volumes and in my opinion last year's stats where i'm at with land illustrious it is s tier also it was one of if not my favorite thing i read last year magus of the library i pushed this series a lot because it's wonderful and it's only getting better which is crazy and the art is insane i'm gonna give it high b for right now and magus of the library has the easy potential of being high a and maybe even low s tier in the future as a whole ragna crimson it's uh starting strong and still going i'm gonna stick it in this area right about here middle-ish lower-ish c area and then i have a gin here but now that i think of it i think i read again the year prior to last year so i just had it in here and i can't remember <laughs> i'm gonna stick it right there lowish c's good then we got uh that time i got reincarnated as a slime i was recommended this one by the community a bunch i was starting an izakai binge and this is one of the better izakais out there and rightly so and it's in the uh, mid b area magic knight ray earth an oldie but a goodie solid solid c we'll stick it right in here school frozen in time only four volumes ended last year i talked about this one a little bit so i'm not going to talk too much about it so we're just going to place it and we're going to stick it in the b's solo leveling pretty easy higher grade here now we're only three volumes in so you know it could get worse could get better i'm going to stick it above golden kamui right here in the mid b area then we have sensor from junji ito and i kind of punched junji ito in the face with ramina earlier and sensor kind of gets the same thing i think sensor was better than remna so i'm gonna stick it like that just not great i mean just not memorable at all i like some of his works like i said but these ones are just meh 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 all right two left girl from the other side i push it a lot i think i can give it a high b if not a low a some things behind it like radiant magus of the library strongest sage all this stuff has potential to go past these things but it completed it was good and i'm giving it more props here and then overlord another izakai i started and i really am enjoying and right now i'm feeling it and i think it's better than i think it's better than these i'm gonna stick it right here in a little bit higher c's 
I think I did a pretty good job of moving things around when I was making the list. I, I think Blue Exorcist might be lower, B Stars might be higher here, but nothing, nothing really that I think I want to change tiers. The highest thing here is Jujutsu Kaisen. I just am not feeling it in the B section right now. I feel like Girl From The Other Side could be low A and maybe Erased could even be high B. These ones are tough. I mean, Radiant and Max the Library, they're so dang good. You know what? Screw it. I'm just sticking them in front to make me feel better. I I'm, I'm kind of punching Erased in the face. Erased is great. If I had to rank all of my manga that I've ever read together, this would look vastly, vastly different. But anyways, what is your S tier? from 2021 what is your go away or drop tier from 2021 let me know down in the comments it would be cool to hear what everybody's stuff was remember to like comment subscribe i love hearing from you all come check me out in the discord and i will see you all next time